Okay. This is what I'm trying to work on, right? Try to put together. I got this transformer. Got these two coils combined together, and my cell. I'm gonna use capacitor, and then I'll replace cell with capacitor. This is another view of it. These two coils together right here. So let's look at what I have put together and help me out if I'm using maybe too small um, coils or okay here we go this is my pulse generator feeds off of a 12 volt battery comes here goes uh, straight to the coils ignore these this stuff right here Transformer I picked up from a regular transformer goes from a, I think 120 to 10 volts. Just got it from here. Okay, and then I got my coils, two coils together. I got my diode, two coils together, same uh, length, I believe. My, my capacitor, okay. There's my meter. This is where it reads right now without without anything. Hopefully, I can make this. Oh. Let me see. It jumps. It jumps. Okay, there you go. It goes about under 30 volts. If I'm going to connect here. It drops and then comes back again. My question is, how much volts was Stanley putting out? One place I read was about 3000. And he was always mentioned, he was saying high voltage, high voltage all the time. So what was it really? We know it was about from 1 till 10 kilohertz frequency that's what he mentioned in one of the videos he had and he used about 5 amps to get this everything going just curious how much volts we really going for maybe I need a better bigger capacitor okay Um, my big transformer, this guy, gets really hot. I'm not sure why. So, get other components here. These same coils on both sides, I guess, but it's wind differently. They have this kind. I don't know, maybe this is what we're gonna use. I'm not sure. This guy right here. It's homemade. Where is it? Maybe we gotta use bigger diode? Help me out. Okay. Oh, if you wanna see the space. This is how bright it was. You can see how how it blinks. Just a little bit. Little spaces. Just 
just an example. Okay. <clears throat> 